Hey everyone, welcome to Rootstock, home of the Woodstock Whiskey Club. I am here with Abby and Bram, and as promised, we are going to show you guys how to make George Washington's eggnog recipe. Um, gonna list the ingredients real quick so you know what we're working with, but know that the, the, the quantities that we're using are for a large batch of eggnog, and I do not recommend using this much unless you have about 100 friends coming over to your house. So, let's go over the list real quick. First off, you're gonna have two cups of brandy, you're gonna have a cup of rye whiskey. You're gonna have a cup of dark Jamaican rum, 10 large eggs, a three quarters cup of sugar, a quart of milk, a quart of heavy cream. We lost Abby. We don't know what happened. She felt awkward on the camera. Um, some freshly ground nutmeg and some cinnamon sticks or ground cinnamon, whichever is your preference. Okay, so guys, here we are. So the first steps of this is, of course, you want to mix all the liquors in a separate container. So your cherry and your rye and everything, we've got it all mixed together, ready to go. And then you want to separate your egg yolks and your whites, which we have done. There's our yolks, our whites are over there. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is take the egg yolks. You're going to put them in a mixer. We have a professional one. You go ahead. You want to make stuff useful. So we have a professional one. You guys may have to do it by hand. I can do it if you do. But is that good? Okay. So, anyway, you're going to start. We're going to wait for Abby, but we're going to start until <laughs> she figures out what the hell's going on. You know, you can like lift that thing out of the way and make it easier. Here we go. Okay, never mind. All right, so, start this machine up. There we go. Okay. So, while you're beating the egg, you know, you want to add the sugar gradually. And then, once it gets to a light yellow mix. Come over there. So you're putting it all on one side. Okay. Once all mixed together. There you go. Good job. So once you get the yolks mixed and the sugar mixed together, then you add the alcohol, which is my favorite thing. Now, if you're doing this with people, I would suggest you already have alcohol poured for yourself and drink from it regularly which you will see me do throughout the video. <laughs> How much of each? So it's actually Chef AJ taught me when we were doing my practice. It's called the ribbon stage. I want it to be a light yellow to where you can spell out the name with the list. That's okay. Not quite the Abby, how much of each of these alcohols did you add? So you did a half. Um, during the normal. So we did actually a cup of brandy, half a cup of the dark rum, half a cup of the rye whiskey, and a fourth oh. cup of the cream sugar. Right. And you guys, if you want to keep uh, true to the original recipe, George Washington, you want to make sure you use rye and not bourbon or anything else because in the 1700s when George Washington was making eggnog, he actually had his own distillery. And back then, all they made was rye whiskey because the middle of the country was not settled yet and they were not growing corn. So bourbon didn't really exist in the 1700s. It was just rye. So stay true to the recipe and use a good rye whiskey. Okay, so, we good? Mm -hmm. All right, right, so you gotta slow it down and start adding alcohol. Is that what we're doing? Slow. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna start adding alcohol to this. And then we're going to go on to the next step for you guys. All right, so next step after we have added the liquor to the egg yolks is to take another drink. Make sure you do that between every single step or it will go south fast. All right, so then what we've done is we've, we've combined the milk and the cream into a separate container and we're adding that to the mixture with the alcohol and the egg yolks in it. Just keep going. Keep going. We're burning video here, people. Let's go. Okay. All right. So once we do that, we've got to switch over to the egg whites. Rabbit egg whites. <laughs> We're um, whipping them up. We blended our egg whites um, so that they're stiff. And the best way to tell us it's. Stand straight up. If it looks a little phallic, straight then it up. works. If it's standing straight up, you did a good job. Okay, so those are the egg whites beaten until they're stiff. Just 
just so you know. Okay, and then um, and then we're gonna get the alcohol mixture, right? Awesome. And then, oh, look at this. So the alcohol mixture with egg yolks and everything else is gonna get folded into that into there, right? It says. This is what we do. Fold slowly into creamy alcohol. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> it says, it says, you got it. Oh, it's right. Oh, I know I was screwing up. The first step is to take a drink. <laughs> you forgot. I forgot that first step. <laughs> now it'll be fine because I took a drink and everything is well with the world. Okay, so we have folded the egg whites into the alcohol mixture, which gives us a nice solution there. So, pretty much ready to go, except for adding the nutmeg and cinnamon, or whatever other spices you want to add to it. So we're going to add the cinnamon stick. Not even sure what that's going to do, because it's an entire stick of cinnamon. But does it dissolve? Does it disappear? I don't think it does. It says sticks. Seasons it. Okay. Well, how much nutmeg are we putting in? A pinch. A pinch? Well, then you don't need one of these. Why are you reaching for a message? Okay. Just you want a pinch. pinch. Can you pinch? pinch. This is a really large bowl. Let's do another pinch. Rachel Ray, right here. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Oh, nice little. So, we added sure. a pinch or two or five of nutmeg and a cinnamon stick. So, what we're going to do with this now is we're going to put it in a sealed container and we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about four days. So if you're going to have this for a Christmas party, I suggest you start making it now because you need to put it in the fridge for four days. And when we're done, what we end up with is... Right, this is it? This is it. Okay. So when we're done, we end up with George Washington's original whoops, eggnog recipe. Okay. Put a little pinch of nutmeg on there <laughs> because pinch, pinch. Look at you. I like your arm size. It's like a tremendous horse You're drinking. Drink. Oh. Where's mine? Where's yours? You're not on the camera. You can have one in a minute. Anyway, and there you have George Washington's original eggnog recipe. So it's a really good eggnog. If you love eggnog, you will love this recipe. If you don't like eggnog, just don't watch this video. Cheers. 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 Happy holidays. <laughs>